Hi ladies, how are you doing this evening? It's breezy and raining in my in the room. I just want to take out time to do this video and um, I really want women to really pay attention. I am sharing this video today on my channel because it is something I have resolved within me as a woman. I wasn't doing that before but I learned it and I thought it is something that is going to be cool for women to begin to adopt because it helps. Whether you are a woman or not and you're watching me right now, this works for everybody. But I am bringing it on, on my channel to help women or ladies like me. So, the topic of today's discussion is moving in silence. Now, what is silence? Silence is keeping your things done in a low key. That is how I would want to define it. And we have an adage that says, Talking and singing about silence is golden. I never knew the meaning of that adage until something happened in my environment that really motivated me to make this decision of becoming silent about my goal, my dreams, my movement. It is very, very important, especially in the life of a woman, to keep whatever you're doing within yourself. In fact, silence is the best gift a woman can give to herself. I mean, when you're trying or aspiring to do something and you never tell a soul and at the end of the day you achieve that, then you now let them know. I think it brings more glory. It brings, you know, greater accomplishment than you letting it out before you carry out such obligation. Because a lot of people aren't happy about your achievements in life. And this calls for being mindful or becoming mindful of the people we let or give access into our lives because no anybody that don't know you or know your whereabouts or know your background cannot actually plot you or do something wrong that could hurt you people who know you are people who can hurt you that is one thing i find out in life so i want to you know discuss today on my channel how and things you can keep secret to yourself as a woman let's move straight the right time to keep our mouth shut as women and move on with our dreams. It's not everybody you should befriend that should know everything about your life. The woman that got affected by this particular issue that motivated me, you know, told her friend about what she was about to do, not knowing that her friend was a secret enemy. You know, people close to you who know more about you are the people that can crush you down, that can crumble you. People you never expected that could hurt you are the people that will hurt you. So mind the kind of circle you associate you associate yourself with. Know the people you are letting into your life by telling them things. Breathe your tongue until that thing is accomplished. Be silent. Write your vision. I think there is this effort, all right? The enthusiasm that comes with and you know a wish that you have not let out until you accomplish it than the one you have told people. When you have told people about your wish, it tends to you know, cripple you down. You see yourself going weak and achieving them. But when you've not told a soul, you fight very well. So that at the end of the day, by the time you achieve it, you will be able to not be the due season for you to work to let it out to the world for them to hear. So today, after watching this video, let it be known that you have learned something. And what, have you, what will you learn? To breathe your tongue concerning your dream, your goal, your past. Know who you are talking to. You never can tell. Human beings are what? They are dynamic. Alright? They change. They change. So know who you are talking to about your future. Let's move straight to five things you should keep secret as a woman. The number one is your past. Do not tell your past to everybody you see. Do not let people gain easy access to your past. It's not everybody in your circle that should know about you. I see a lot of people, in the first two, three days they have met, you know, a new friend. They have let out their whole life to that person. It is an error, guys. It is an error. Learn to breathe your tongue. Be a lady that is walking in silence. Be classy with the calm. Be careful who you're talking to. Be careful who you are letting the most secret 
things of your life too. Do not tell people about your past because on the day it's going to get hot, they are going to use the past to crush you down. They are going to use it to pull you down. The people you never wish to hear about it, you hear about it. Keep your secrets to yourself. If you have done anything in the past that is on here, there is nobody that don't have a past. You are not the first, neither will you be the last. Keep it in your heart. Keep them to yourself. Keep them to yourself. If you feel that pressing need of letting it out to somebody, tell it to God in your silent prayers. Do not let your secrets out. Walk in silence, okay? The second thing you should keep secret as a woman are your properties, your achievements. Keep your properties, your documents safe just with you and God. You know the most important people in your life will be your spouse, those ones they're safe. I mean, the kind of relationship I'm hitting at right now is a general form of relationship outside your family. Okay? Even within your family, we have enemies. Be mindful, be wise. Your properties should be safeguarded. You have houses, keep it a secret. You never can tell who wants you down. So, the property should be a secret. The next I want you to, you know, keep a secret is your salary, the amount you earn, your income. People should not know how much you earn, neither should they know how much you're spending. I mean, they are not your bank. Why will a woman go, come, do you have the, do they, is, do, is it their right? You don't have right to know. These are things that are meant to be known by just you and your innermost family members. Your income should be a secret. Move in silence, girl. Choose to stay silent this period. Because you never can tell who is against you. Your best friend can turn to be your worst enemy in life. You never can tell. Human beings change it. You might say, I know this person. He cannot do like this. She cannot do like this. You're not gone. Be silent. Keep your enemies to yourself. Number four, your goals and aspirations. These are the things you should keep most secrets because you've not attained them. They are things you're desiring to get. They are your wishes. Do not tell it to your soul. When you have planned them out and they are achieved, the world can now say it. Do not let out your goals until they are achieved. Set your plans, write your vision, and work towards your vision. They are not to be broadcasted. They are to be secret. They are to be kept with you. Only you know how you pursue them. There is this natural strength that comes with goals that are not yet open up. Put them in your mind. Let people see the end result rather than the beginning. It is best that way. The last but not the least thing you should keep secret as a woman is the good you have done to all the people. Do not be you know, a wiggling tongue. Do not. As a Christian, when you give, you don't let the other person know about it. Move in silence. Why am I coming up today with this topic such as this? Is to alert women that this is a new mode of behavior that could add to your body. Be that woman that moves in silence, that wise. I'll see you in my next video. That's all I have for you today. If you want to relate with me in the comment section, all the time, all the time, you're well appreciated. Thank you very much for coming this far. Do subscribe if you're not. And help me share and like this video. God bless you.